Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MoatReserve.com. Head over to MoatReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guys. And today, we got quite a few things to go over. Some updates, some news, some notes, and a few other things just to announce, guys. They did go over a pretty good amount of stuff on the stream, first and foremost. Uh, some stuff that I want to go over, get off my chest, some stuff. Not like get off my chest, not a bad way. Like Some stuff that's just there that I need to say right now that it, it's pretty cool. So we have, I have a whole list of notes here, guys. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the holiday break, you know. For most people, if you're still in high school, middle school, you're probably back by now. For most, unless, you know, COVID-related reasons. Um, other than that, though, for the most part, I mean, you're probably chilling. If you're in college, you have a nice little month off, more than likely. Again, either way, hopefully you guys have been enjoying yourself. But if you guys are new to the channel, regardless... Subscribe, turn on that notification bell, uh, comment down below, like the video. If you haven't already, if you guys need coins, pick up anything, head over to my reserve and use code Poodle for 30% off your order. You won't regret it. Now, moving on. Okay, so a few things to go over. First, guys, we do have a mystery promo. Mystery content. Kralos said on stream today that prior to the big content this week, or coming up, and we could, it could be the playoff promo. Could be the team of the year. I, I have to say it's the playoff, right? Because the next big promo has to be playoffs. He said they got something, a, a little something, a little something special or cool coming prior, but he didn't want to give us a date. Now, what that implies is if this is before the playoff promo, that means that the playoff promo is coming a little bit later than expected, sometime near like the 10th or the 11th, right? Now, something special before. So what could a mystery promo look like beforehand? I don't know what that could be. All right, it's not a blitz. We just got one. Unless it's a quick little blitz. I don't think so, though. So it's not a blitz. Um, you know, could it be like when they gave us the power up, the the power up fifty players since they go for so much so expensive, they give us like a free pack. Did you just get one? Possible. Could it be another campus hero drop? Possibly. What else could they possibly drop to us? That would be cool. Maybe motivators, right? Motivators would be cool. Like something small that only needs a one time a drop, but doesn't need a lot more around it. It's probably what we'd end up seeing. Because we already have the team of the week schedule. We already have the team of the year. Unless they're talking about playoff promo as the before promo, which I don't think so because he didn't make, he would have said, you know, playoff promo. He said a mystery. Like, I don't know. But I don't, I know for a fact. Well, I hopefully know for a fact that it's not playoff and they're not just teasing us something that we owe. Because that would be kind of messed up, right? Teasing us something that we always get. But I don't know what they could drop. Like, it's a campus hero drop, maybe a motivator drop. Maybe something updated. Maybe some power players. Maybe some LTDs. I don't really know. I can't. I can't think back on promos we've gotten in years past. They've just been like one and done drops, kind of like campus heroes, motivators. I don't really know what else it could be. Maybe some coin up level stuff. Maybe some super MVP bundle coming back uh, with some souls related to it. I don't really know. It could be some guys, but stay, stay tuned. We will have some mystery content coming up this week. But that's better for that, guys. I'm going to go take you to the um, to my screenshot to show you guys some of the stuff over there. This is the update screen for this week. So, programs. Programs like Team of the Week, Wildcard Wednesday, and LTDs will resume next week. So, it is Tuesday. So, not this week. We will be dealing with this as of next week. Now, that's great and all. It is. But it sucks that we don't have it this week. Now, the issue with not having it this week would be that they are pretty much saying that the Mr. Promo is not yet. And that means before the Playoff Promo. And that's before the Team of the Week Promo. So, all that stuff... Like if you do the if you do the timeline, and you really think about it here, if the mystery promo is coming up later this week, and that's before a regular big promo, which we think is playoffs, and that's before team of the week, right? If all this stuff isn't coming till next week, and you know playoffs not coming probably next week or late this week, mystery promo not coming for a week, that means we probably have nothing, right? We probably have nothing for at least a few days, while we just wait, because the only things confirmed are coming next week or late this week, so. That's probably it for a little bit. Now, follow-ups. This is what I want to go over. So, quick sell value on Blitz tokens, various collectibles. So, if you guys didn't know, for some reason, I don't know how he did this. kind of messed up. I mean, it was they only gave us 500 coins, which is even more messed up. They should have made them like 1,000, considering how long it took. It took them two months to give us quick sell values on Blitz um, Blitz tokens. So, if you guys have any leftover Blitz tokens, like, you know, 5, 10, 50, 20, they go for 500 coins, I believe is what I saw. So, if I were you guys, you know, if you have 100, that's 50K. 20, that's 10k. You pretty much divide the amount you have in half, and that's the amount of coin value you're getting. Now, in my opinion, they should have given you 1,000 to 1,500 coins per, considering the fact that it took them two months to give us a quick sell value. And remember, the price of coins change, right? So 500 coins back then isn't the same as it is now because, you know, inflation and so on and so forth. 
and you know less interest in the game or more high overall cards now you, know, you could have definitely used that coins at that time period but point being i think they should have given us a little bonus as like a nice you know nice little christmas bonus for being so late like two months the bliss happened two months ago hs i don't understand how it takes them two months to even do something that's just something simple that should have been in the game that's always been in the game directly after blitz quick sell value that should have happened in the end of november beginning of december hands down should have been talked about and announced prior to but it is what it is next we have open weekend league this coming weekend so guys we will have an open weekend league which does mean you guys don't have to compete though we know we can not weekend league knockout you don't have to win a few games in a row you can just literally that's a thursday any team it doesn't matter what team you have 80 overall 60 overall 50 overall 99 overall you can hop in weekend league this weekend and go ahead and effectively play and join into it no problem at all next guys barry sanders power up training option finally that is cool. I'm assuming that's in game now if they're saying it here. So Barry Sanders power up training option. That, that what that means is so you guys remember Barry Sanders go for to 320k, but you need to power him up to get to his 95 speed, right? So now you power him up. His power up goes for an additional like 300 something k. And now once you power him up, oh wait, he has a 91 overall diamond master. You gotta go get him. He goes for 600k. All in all, this card costs you like 1.2 to 1.5 million depending on the price of everything at that moment. So, I guess people complained, and they realized it was a problem. So, instead of the Diamond Master, they did do a training option. So, I guess probably whatever the 91 overall of a card would be. So, if it's 10K, 15K training, honestly, it's worth it, though, because 15K training is not half a million coins, if I if my memory stands correct here. So, definitely a great option. Now, Snowball Champion Upgrade, I will show you that in a second. Justin Herbert is confirmed the winner, and they said it was by a large margin. So, that's kind of funny, though, because... It seems I guess Herbert didn't know yet. He probably didn't see the numbers, because on the stream yesterday, well, we all knew it was going to be Herbert, right? Because... Herbert was endorsed by many YouTubers, so we all kind of assumed it was going to be Herbert. But then on Crayola, say yesterday, Miles Garrett will be getting his upgrade. Oh, and uh, or Justin Herbert, something like that. So I was like, oh, so pretty much he knows, but he's got to keep it. You know, he's got to keep it, you know, discreet. Like, oh, I mean, or both, right? So like, it's like he knew, but I guess maybe he never saw it. He kind of just assumed. I don't know, or maybe he just said it weird. Probably just worded it weird, you know, being on stream, just forgetting. But um, yeah, I, I kind of assumed Garrett won it, and I was hoping he didn't. At the same time, I was hoping he did. I don't know it was weird. He wasn't that great of a card. But I didn't see a world where Justin Herbert not being all threshold was really worth it. I didn't, honestly either. I mean, it was both. It was the story of both cards. But I assumed Herbert won, right? But it is what it is. We end up being a per. It ended up being Herbert. I will show you stats. Next we got solo battles. Some issues with solo battles. Twitch drops are having issues as well. They are fixing that. Monthly weekendly rewards in December. And title update. Zone coverage kickoff issue. So once we get that title update, that will we will be allowed to do kickoffs again and all that stuff. Finally fixed next-gen gameplay. You know, I find it messed up, right? Because here's the thing. When packs are broken, someone comes in and they fix those packs instantly because they cannot let us be with free money, right? Because it, it hurts the integrity of the game. But when they drop a game on next-gen on December 12th, right? Or December 11th, whatever it was. Or December 4th, sorry. And zones are broken kickoffs are broken the game's essentially broken i'm still playing on current gen because i don't enjoy next gen that is all bad like it doesn't feel like a real game it does not feel like madden that is a broken game but they're gonna they let us sit with that for almost a month because they you know holiday break but if there was a pack glitch which there was actually not too long ago it was fixed during holiday break so explain to me how you could fix that remotely but the game's not that important right now i understand people have lives i get it there's a billion dollar business and the game comes first right whatever moving on Next, we have this stuff right here. Hey, my community, a issue was reported earlier today. Zero chill programs, zero chill program ended. Players were unable to add 93 overall snow beast into sets. So that has been fixed. Next, guys, we have the Justin Herbert announcement comes to 93. Now, real quick, real quick announcement before we get into that. Series 4 is probably even pushed back more. So, Creole said today, Series 4 is going to be coming, but he did say that we will be giving you pretty much a one week notice before it does drop so everyone has the time to, you know, know the LTDs coming, you know, know who's getting the reduxes. Uh, you know, I guess to sell it, you know, if you have, if you have an LTD stray hand, you can sell it. Let's just say if that's part of it because he's going to go down value. So he said we'll get a week notice. So it's the fifth. And we don't have a notice yet. So more than likely, we're not getting it to at least the 12th plus, right? 12th to the 20th. I'd say 12th to the 25th at this point. So just know if you don't get a week notice, keep adding days because it's going to be a week away. So we don't hear about it tomorrow. 13th. We don't hear about the next day, 14th. So, so on and so forth. I pretty much wraps up that, so let's get to the Justin Herbert stats here. So here's Justin Herbert, 93 over quarterback. Really cool card art, 90 speed, 97 throw power, 93 short accuracy, 87 medium, 88 deep, 87 throw under pressure, 91 throw on the run, 91 throw out the play action. I really wish he was able to be powered up. 
and I really wish that he was able to get both medium and deep buck 90. So, again, you can go play fake here. You get a short up to like a 99 just about. You can, oh, sorry, 98. You can get his medium up to a 90. You can get his throw power to a 99. But his deep will not will not reach the threshold, which you probably want his deep up because, you know, Justin Herbert's going to throw him deep. Or you can go, uh, you know, play fake. I mean, sorry, go deep. Get his deep accuracy up. Get his throw power up again. Now, I get it's, it's circumstantial. If you prefer, if you if you pass within, you know, 30, 20 yards or less, go play fake. If you're routinely bombing at 30 yards or more, 20 yards or more, then go with go deep. It really comes down to you if you do have him. Um, I don't really know what teams are going to be using him. Probably more budget squads and maybe like theme teams. But I really don't see this being, you know, uh, you know, meta quarterback at all. He's too low of an overall. Doesn't have all 90s passing. You know, it's kind of one of those things. But the speed's great. How do you speed in Justin Herbert? That's pretty insane. You know, he's going to feel like a little baby Vic. That's not bad. I mean, they gave him the speed. If they could have just given him plus two deep or plus one deep and a power up, suddenly you're talking about one of the best quarterbacks in the game. All right? It's just that simple. You know, you gave him a 90 deep, you give him play fake plus speed and a power up 91 overall. A 91 speed star with a 94 quarterback. It, it gets great. But, guys, pretty much wraps up today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, comment down below. Uh, let me know what's going on. Like the video. And of course, guys, if you need coins, head over to my reserve and use code Poodle for 30% off. I'm out. Peace.